We've just been to the five best places to get beers in Liverpool. Yeah, we've been to five different places. Local Liverpool places. No brew dog, no spoons, no anywhere. That's got the best variety of craft beer and local beer on tap. And if you continue watching this, you'll see the five places we went to and what we drank. So the first stop, we're in Love Lane, and these three that we just got, they're like the sort of core range that Love Lane do, so I don't know which way around it is, but we've got a pale, a session, and an IPA, and then these three are either some of the local ones that are just on tap this week, or some special brews that they've just done for, you know, a limited time, but these are the main three that you can get. So this is the IPA, right, so it already smells like an IPA, that's how I knew which way around this was. Oh, that's nice. It's like not too cold, not too strong, no carbon. So it's really easy to just basically neck this. So that's what I'm going to do. So this one is a little lower percentage than that one. That tastes more like a lager to me. It's all right. It's not as nice as that one though, but it is nice. It's colder as well. God, you don't even realize after drinking those two, that just tastes like water. It's really smooth though, really, really smooth. It doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like you're drinking a cold glass of water. So the this one is the Vienna, which should be quite nice. It's a little darker than the others. So yeah. it should, I think, I imagine it's going to be like a nice sort of rich lager maybe. Does it taste yeah, like that, Boddington's? No, it doesn't taste like Boddington's. <laughs> It's, although it's uh, that sort of, you know, you're on the right lines thinking there. Just looks like um, Boddington's. <laughs> but it's more fresh, it's more sort of drink outside in a beer garden. Not too, again, not too carbonated, I think, by the looks of things. Although it's got, although it's got quite a, it's got the biggest head on it, hasn't if it? If I judge a beer beers. by its colour, that's going to be my favourite. As you'd expect. It's like fairly thick, if that makes any sense at all with a beer. Yeah. I think it'd be heavy going to drink a lot of that, um, but it's extremely fresh again, like quite flowery tasting. This is Black Edge, which is a collab, I think, between Love Lane and Black Edge, or maybe just a Black Edge beer. I mean, this one looks extremely, it almost looks like a lemonade. Ooh. So I don't know if it's going to taste like one, if it's going to be refreshing, how strong it's going to be. Let's try it. Okay, after that, certainly less rich, um, easier to drink. We probably need palate cleansers between these, right? We probably do. It's got almost like a little tinge of sourness to it in the background. Not, not, it's not a sour at all, but you know what I mean? It's got a little bit more citrus or bite oh, okay. to it, I think. That's what I'd say. Okay, so we've just literally downed, well, it's literally just a pint each. It's not even that bad. But we're on our way to the next place and we've got to rush just now because we are actually meeting somebody at 1.30 and it's nearly 1. So we just need to go to this place next. We're going to get just maybe one little flight there just to try for you guys a couple of the drinks. And then we're off to three places up in the actual centre of Liverpool. So the next place we're in is Black Lodge, but because it is literally like 20 degrees out in the middle of June, middle of June, it's absolutely popping. So um, we've just come to sit sort of around the corner to try them out. Um, I've got three different beers. I've got a wheat beer, an IPA, and oh, and ha a hazy pale. So uh, there's three different beers here. To be fair, Black Lodge is really good, like definitely great vibes because especially on a day like today, everyone is here because really good garden and then around here we haven't got time to go around it today but around literally like the warehouse which 
the, the brewery is, there's loads of street vendors, loads of places doing like, you know, different street food, local street food and stuff. So you can literally come here for the full day, just drink Black Lodge beer and just eat all day. Really good place. Okay. So one of them didn't pour very well and I'm hoping it wasn't my wheat beer that I really wanted. Out of all the wheat beer I've had, this ain't the one, I'm not gonna lie, it's not nice. Let me try the other one. Oh no, I think that's the haze. Okay, so that might be the hazy one. You can just taste the haze. And that's the IPA. Oh, there's a puppy coming. Who's this puppy? Oh my God, look. Oh my God, this is why literally you need a menu and everything. So I was going off on one about how that one didn't taste like a wheat beer. Right, so that is the wheat beer. This is the wheat beer. And it tastes like a wheat that beer. It's a no brainer to actually come to the brewery because you're going to get lagers that, and IPAs and pails that you can't get anywhere else. And the best thing is, if you go inside, they've got a fridge where you can take home the cans as well. They do loads of collabs with loads of local breweries all over the country as well. Honestly, it's definitely worth coming down, especially on a day like today. The other two IPAs are also really nice. With Black Lodge, they've got such a nice rotation of different beers. Oh my God, I really did not want to leave that place. It was fucking popping. It was so fun. Thing is, we are meeting somebody very special in literally 10 minutes. So we are currently, which I forgot to mention, in the Baltic area of Liverpool. So this is where a lot of the kind of like up and coming and local places are and where a lot of, uh, yeah, decent food, decent drinks, good vibes. On a day like today, it's absolutely packed. Just a side note, Pete's getting a bit upset because we haven't eaten any food yet and it's half one in the afternoon. But yeah, the smoothie, it's all good. So we're now on Dale Street and we've come to Angus Tap and Grind. So you'll see what we've ordered and everything. Um, but yeah, it's quite a quiet place. But the thing is, the best thing about this place is they've got so many nice beers, all on tap, all locally rotated and some really decent flavors as well. So we've gone for kind of like some summery ones. So a tropical ice cream one and then a Northern Monk Rocket Lolly beer. I, think, I don't know if they've got their own brews, but they definitely have like a good variety on tap, which you'll see. And then we've just gone with a tropical pale ale and then a rocket lolly. The rocket lolly is from Northern Monk and the tropical one is, I don't even know, I can't read. So now we're just literally outside of Dead Crafty. Well, we're drinking in, but it is really quiet in there. No music or anything. So I just thought I'll come outside and do the rest of this. But now nah, this is a really good beer place. It's probably one of my favorite places to go in Liverpool. Everyone I know that likes beer comes here. 
because it's a rotating system so they've always got something new on every time you come in and there's fridges with cans to take home you can also get something all canned up to take away if you like it on tap they'll put it in a can for you to take away so yeah you're gonna you're gonna love it here it's always really good so i got um a session ipa and they've got a sour oh that is really nice to be fair i can't even remember what beer i'm drinking oh yeah vocation heart and soul lol Blueberry, apple, maple, pecan, it's, French toast, pastry, sour. Yeah, it's crack. Drink it. It's the weird thing is, you know, like when you have a tart with custard and you get all that, the filling, the pastry. It is literally all of that. Is it? Mm -hmm. I got my dad the northern. Mother. They've nailed it. Um, so mm. I bought my mates some beers for the bath last week. And I was trying to decide what to buy. Him. <laughs> That's really sour. <laughs> I ordered them from some, was it like something? It's got is a lot of oak flavour in it. It's very oaky. That's not for me. Oaky. Tastes like a hot dog. It did say it had pecan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, 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 yeah. it literally tastes like a hot dog. Like I'm getting hot dog vibes from that. Not you know, like the seller. outer side of a hot dog out a bit with the hot dogs in i'm getting the hot dog fucking flavor to taste some macchiato yeah right so this one is the caramel macchiato which i wouldn't normally i wouldn't normally drink this to be honest it is a stout and it's 10 percent but <laughs> smell you can smell it from the other side of the table it sounds rough let's try it oh shit that's well so nice what the fuck? It's literally like an espresso martini. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. But it's a little bit less um, intense. You've not got the flavour of vodka in it. Yeah. It's like an espresso martini. It's like a slightly watered down espresso martini, I feel. Wow. I mean, you only need a third of that. You, li you do not need any more. Try it. Don't you think that tastes like an espresso martini? <laughs> wow. It literally tastes like an espresso martini. That's madness. But without the vanilla vodka in it, what do you think? Mm. It's mad. <laughs> I think that's more than enough. And how much was it? For a third of a pint? 4.50. So you're paying 4.50 for an espresso martini here. Which is cheaper than oh, Which is a bargain. You pay like 12, 13 quid for one anywhere else. And do you know what? That's probably more liquid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally. That's so, you know, if in doubt, <laughs> get a fucking stout. <laughs> now we're on to the Ship and Mitre, which is renowned for having a fridge of Belgian and German beer. So I'm heading straight for the fridge. Yay, Stella's! In you get! Ship and Mitre, which is the fifth place we've been for drinks today. They've not got anything local, as in they don't brew their own stuff. They have got 40 taps of beer and cider, all different kinds. What was your one again? It was like... Fierce Berry. Fierce Berry, which, which is, is really a gluten, like a vegan, berry, pale ale. Yeah. And then I went with the Juice Force Ive, which I've had before. You can't go wrong with a bit of Juice Force <laughs> Ive. It's gorge. Although, I feel like, because it's yellow, or a beer colour, it doesn't represent how juicy it actually is. He got an alcohol-free cider. Copperberg, which is like six quid. You should have just but got it, a fucking blackcurrant and lemonade. The same as a blackcurrant lemonade. You get hammered off yeah. that. You can't even taste the beer. I tell you what, though. Let's try it. The, the fridges, the fridges, they've got like my favourite fruit and vice beers in the fridge. And I'm like, can I take them home, please? Because our favourite Belgian bar is shut, is shut down. I'm like, got it. Rip Belgica. Another really cool thing about the Ship and Mitre is they actually have like a biannual uh, festival and 
the next one is in November of this year, but it's basically just going to be a festival on the Wirral, and they've got everything there. You can see on the coaster, um, and yeah, apparently it's really good. So just outside the Ship and Mitre now, and as you can see, the beer festival thing is behind me that I was just talking about while I was inside. And yeah, you can get literally everything here. It's so good. It's like quite a local place, but just on Dale Street, well, going on to North Street, literally three or four minutes away from Lime Street Station. So it's definitely a place to go if you're looking for a variety of beer, definitely go for it. Um, it's quite quiet in there, it's like not really loud music or anything like that, so it's a nice place to just chill and have a couple of drinks and uh, definitely check out the fridges behind the taps as well if you can't find exactly what you want on the taps, but they're all around the bar. The bar's like a central thing and you can just walk all the way around and that and have a little look at what they've got and they have everything like beer, cider, stout, like local lagers, IPAs, just everything. So yeah, go for it and have a little look. Okay, so we're walking back now. The microphone mishap doesn't seem to have been a huge issue, so it's fine. I'm just gonna use my normal camera and my normal phone for the foreseeable future. But anyway, I feel like, yeah, we went to five different places in Liverpool that has pretty much the best variety and also the best local brews that you can get in Liverpool for sure. There are loads of other places, of course, but these are what I would consider the best, the for most affordable and all based sort of in the city centre or the Baltic area. So definitely check them all out. Um, the only thing I was going to say is, Pete, what do you reckon was your favourite beer of the day, if you can even think of one? Well, there was, there was some good ones, of course, and there were some refreshing ones. But I think the best one was the one I can't remember the name of, annoyingly. But where was it? At least we can uh, work that out. Dead Crafty, the sour that was like the the pie. The pie one? Yeah, that was, oh, that was something special. That was, you couldn't drink a lot of it, but it was very, very tasty. Like as an individual beer, it was great. Oh, wow. That's cool. I would say my favourite was, I don't know. It's diff it is difficult to say because they're all run into one now. I've had a few bevs, but I do definitely like Black Lodge's beer. I feel like as much as I fucked up earlier when I said that that one was the wheat beer and it wasn't, the wheat beer there was really good. So that was good. And then the tropical one from the Angus Tap was also really good. But all in all, you know what? We didn't have a bad beer all day. So there you go. But yeah, anyway. We're done now. I can't drink anymore. I can't eat anymore. I've had enough. So We're this is the end. Over. We're gonna get run over. Press the button. Oh, there's a puppy. Look at that puppy. There's just puppies everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. But anyway, back to the point. So really good day. That's a great beer, great dog time. If you wanna know what the places we went to were, then I will probably put like their socials in the description so you know where they are. But otherwise, just Google map it and just, you know, come to Liverpool and do these places. But other than that, I'm going now. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>